turning on and set up your iPhone 5S for the first time. So after you have uh, unpacked the phone from the box, you will need to um, turn it on and set it up. Simply just press and hold to the power button for a few seconds and you should see an Apple logo appear on a white background. It will take a couple of seconds. Now unlike uh, the previous uh, phone uh, where you get a, a white Apple logo on a black background. Now once you see this it's a, it's a hello, uh, simply just slide across the screen. Uh, a pop-up say that no SIM card is installed if you haven't put in the SIM card on the side here. Just simply tap on OK to ignore it. Then choose English as a language. Now choose your um, country or region. Yeah, just tap on that. I'm just going to go down and select the appropriate country. Then here um, you need to choose either to set up your phone through a Wi-Fi network or through iTunes. If you don't have Wi-Fi then you need to connect your iPhone 5S to a computer using uh, this cable here, USB cable. Now I'm going to uh, try uh, to set up through a Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to uh, choose a network. So normally it would um, yeah, normally it should show a um, Wi-Fi network available already if your Wi-Fi is not hidden. So select the Wi-Fi network available. So I'm just choosing my Wi-Fi here, David Vo. So I'm going to put in a password, my Wi-Fi password. I'm just going to put in the password now. And upon putting the password, just tap on join at the bottom here to join to a Wi-Fi network. So now, once you're connected, it should move to the next screen. Okay, at this point, it's a uh, SIM card is required. So um, we have to try it again once the SIM card is um, inserted into the phone. Okay, after inserting a SIM card into the phone, you can you can continue with the setup. So select enable location services. Now I'm going to set up as a new iPhone. If you have previously um, backed up uh, your iPhone 5 or iPhone 4, you can restore auto settings into this phone. Because I didn't uh, have any backup from the previous phone, I'm just going to uh, set up a new iPhone here. So choose uh, set up as new iPhone. Then uh, sign in with your Apple ID. And, or you can create a new Apple ID if you wanted to. You can also skip this step if you don't want to set up an Apple ID at this point. So I'm just going to skip this step. Uh, then tap on skip. Now just agree to the term and conditions. Then tap on agree, tap on agree again from the pop-up. Now at this point you can also set up the touch ID. I'm not going to do it now, I will do that in a different tutorial, so I'm going to choose set up later. Now you can also at this point create a new password or passcode, or if you don't want, you don't have to. So I'm just going to set a default, one, two, three, four. Are you sure you want to use this code? Uh, tap on use code. One, two, three, four. Uh, use Siri, so if you want to use Siri, then tap on use Siri. I uh, don't want to send diagnostics, so I'm choose don't send. So now we'll uh, come to a welcome screen. So we can just tap on get started. So that's it um, for the process of setting up your iPhone. It can take a while, but um, once you um, have uh, set it all up, then uh, you should be ready to go. I found that, uh, let me just take out the sticker. Yep, so if you've got a sticker on, oh, it's quite hard to press on the on the home button but once you got it out you can simply uh, just tap it on the home button as you know with the new iPhone 5s uh, the home button uh, is also used as a touch ID to uh, verify of who you are so I'm going to uh, do that in a, in a subsequent tutorials thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials